Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mark Riddell Creations, and today we're going to do a box. Okay, let me show you what I've done. Um, I went ahead and painted the bottom of the box and varnished it. That way we could tape it up without getting any ink, so you don't want to get any paint on the bottom of it. But anyway, uh, all, all the hinges, all that stuff, it's all still intact. And uh, the latch is still intact. We're going to paint over everything. I've done these, not this type of box, but I've done boxes before where I took the hinges and all that stuff off. And they never want to go back the right way. And I'll never do that again. But anyway, uh, let me put you on pause for just a second here. Okay. And also, on the inside, I've taped off the lip. All the way around on the bottom part of the box and the, and the lid. That way, any paint that gets through, um, this paint will dry, and it's it can be quite hard to get your lid apart if it dries on you like that. But uh, so I tape, I put tape in between there, and then when it's dry enough to where I know the it's not going to move or anything, then I may pop the latch up for the last little bit. So it don't stick together. Once I know it's firm enough and dry enough that it's not, you know, the composition is not going to move around. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our base coat down. And for that, we're going to be using the PPG uh, Multi Pro in the eggshell. Okay. And I'm just going to ladle it on here like this. Let it run down the sides. I don't do boxes very often anymore, but sometimes they can be really fun. Uh, I've had a lot of headaches with them, <laughs> but that's because I didn't really investigate how I wanted to do, go about doing it and I made it harder than it needed to be. Okay, hope everybody's having a nice day today. It's a pretty day out there. I feel summer creeping in, boy. It won't be long. And it will be the desert. Okay. Alright. Alright, oh wow. I got a bunch of paint that time. See that latch? I ain't even worried about it. Oh yeah, you can't see it. It's facing me. But anyway, I'll show you. All right. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right there on that latch, it's all covered in paint. But we're not going to let it dry to where we can't move it. We'll, I'll show you after we're going to kind of babysit this a little bit. But I'm hoping I've never made a box in this way or with this style of paint before. So we'll see how it goes. Uh. What we're going to do next is going to be something really cool that I've been waiting to do for a while. It's going to have a little airbrushing on it and stuff. It's, I've been practicing that kind of stuff. So 
I got you a treat for y'all next time. All right. Now then, uh, what the plan is, is three blooms on top, and they're going to run off on the sides and come down. That's the plan. Okay. Uh, let me pop a few air bubbles here. Okay. When I did boxes before, I always did the, um, oh, uh, a mixture of paint and American Floetrol. And, um, the sides would always fade out real bad because the paint would really, really, you know, drag down on it. And I'm hoping that this house paint and this, this thicker, uh, painting medium will, will make a difference and will have something that keeps its color on the sides and everything too. All right, let's get to doing these blooms. We're gonna start out with Doxazine Purple. We're gonna do the one in the middle first. Okay. And that was by that Doc Zing Purple was by Golden Fluid. And this is Sky Blue. And this is by Primary Elements. I probably made that purple way too big. <laughs> but okay. This is Cobalt Blue by Amsterdam. Yeah, um, I, I don't know why I put that much purple on there. I forgot I was doing a real skinny box. Duh! Okay. Alright. Okay, next we're going to do... Uh, this is Reflex Green by Amsterdam. Now this color is light coral by Master's Touch with a uh, a little bit of um uh, beryllium or no. yes okay. Okay, let's see here. I love this color too. This is Spice Pumpkin by Primary Elements. And I absolutely love this one. And Diary I'd like yellow by Golden Fluid. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. I've got Paint Gray and I got Titanium White. What do y'all think we should use? Uh let's think, let's think. I want this to be poor woman. I'm gonna go with the white. Maybe both. I think I'll use both on it. Sometimes when you use both, you get some really cool webbing and lacing. You get a lot of air bubbles. Okay. Alright, so what it is. Oh, what? What and 
paint gray. We're going to do both. Okay. We're going to lay down the white first. This is titanium white by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. Three parts Floetrol, one part paint. And the Payne's Gray is Payne's Gray by Liquitex, mixed with Australian Flow Trial 3 to 1 also. Not quite, just sank right down in there a little. And then I'm going to put just a little more white on top of the black again. So it says sank. Alright, take my little blower here. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, isn't that cool? Alright, I love that one. Alright, let's do two more. I'm enthused. Okay. We'll do this one over here next. I'm going to start with the purple just a little bit. Okay. Sky blue. Cobalt blue. Reflex green. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Same thing as last time. Put down a little white. Okay. Some black. And a little white back on top of it. Okay. Oh, that white on black, so I like the, oh man, it really works in this cool, cool stuff. Love it. Oh yeah. Okay, one more. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is going to be a very cool box. All right, how you like it so far? Now then, one more. Put one here.
Okay. One more time. Oh, man. Yeah, this one's really cool, y'all. Uh, I really like it. Okay, let's just... Let's hope it dries good, because I, I love it. I'm, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to spin it. I'm not going to do nothing to it. Uh, it probably needs some paint spun off, but... Oh my God, I hate to lose anything I got here. Let me see. I'm just gonna trust, I'm just gonna spin it a little bit. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Let me get you up here for a close up. The, the colors running over the sides and stuff. Oh, I hope that dries like it is because it is absolutely stunning. This will be something very beautiful for somebody. Mm. Maybe my mom. I don't know. Oh, I do love this. It's so pretty. I'm very proud of it. Yay, me. <laughs> I do like it, though. It came out so good. Okay. I'm not going to do anything to it. I don't want to risk messing anything up. I love it. All the colors are just beautiful. Uh, as before, always, thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel and watching my videos. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please uh, like and subscribe. And as always, God bless. And until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.